Zero format is coming! And it's my job, as your favorite Yugi tuber that I assume you're all already subscribed to, to inform you guys on how to play this deck. Yesterday, I uploaded two videos with Splite, an FTK and a pure version of the deck. Today, I'm gonna show you guys the two best decks of Pope, battling it off against each other. Splite versus Tier Element. Let's go! Yesterday, I released my favorite playmat of all time that I've ever had on the channel. I ordered 100 and they're all sold out. In fact, when I woke up, I woke up to around 130 sold. So now, now I got to order some more playmats. When I go to sleep tonight, I'm putting in my new order of playmats. If you guys want this last order before August 5th, you have until I go to sleep tonight. The next 12 hours, you guys have until I go to sleep today. Your very last chance to get this playmat before the release on August 4th. One winner. One winner. I hate to admit it, guys. I love pendulums. I love pendulums. My favorite deck. But this format, I'm not going to play pendulums. All right, this format, I'm fucking playing Splite. All right, I hate to, f I hate to admit it. This deck is too damn good. It's like tier zero Zodiac. So I will actually be giving away my pendulum deck. The one lucky winner that purchases this play, Matt. For everyone who purchased it yesterday and whoever gets it today, one lucky winner. So get yours right now on www.tripgaming.com with the description down below. Get it while you have it until today, until before I go to sleep when I put the order in. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's get straight into it. This is tier elements versus Splite. Let's go. In this replay, it is going to be Splite versus tier elements and now one big thing that people don't understand this is going to be a tier zero format not of splite versus tier elements but of splite versus splite the reason why is that tier elements do not have the ishizu cards that are getting released in november so they are not going to be full power until november which means it's going to be a splite format for three months this split like it's literally if you're not playing splite you're going to lose however tier elements are going to put up a solid fight against it I'm going to duel against my boy here that is playing Therion Theri Tier Elements, which does have some very cool synergy because the Tier Elements sent to Grave, allowing for the Therions to resolve. So let's get the show on the road. I'm going to start off with Pot of Prosperity over here. This is where you guys see Nimble Beaver. I'm going to showcase full guide everything. So whether you guys are new, old, ugly, sexy. I know none of my viewers are ugly. Y'all are beautiful. So you guys, doesn't matter how much knowledge you have on this game. You guys are going to learn everything you guys need to know about this deck right here right now so stay tuned to the end of the video and let's get it nimble beaver special nimble beaver this is basically another deep sea diva it does the exact same thing you're not playing any bricks nimble beaver is not going to special the brick you're just special summoning each other uh it just allows it to special from the graveyard we're gonna go splite starter here if you guys recognize whoever watched your video yesterday comment below if you guys have watched all the splite videos i'm learning from my own videos if i'm learning from my own videos imagine how much you guys can learn by watching this splite videos bro it's amazing look at this in the last video, I summoned Nimble Beaver, Nimble Beaver, and I made Gigantic Splite right away, and it got Ash Blossom. I learned from my own mistake, so I sped up, set up Splite Red before I go into Gigantic Splite to protect my actual combo. Let's go. Here, we're going to go with these two into Gigantic Splite. Gigantic Splite with Special Swap. Swap with Send Swap. Of course, we have Ronin in hand. We're going to add Swap back to our hand to send Ronin, especially another Swap. And now, we're just going to set up Amazing. Here, we're going to go into Jin Buster. Here, we're going to link those into Splite Elf. This will bring us Swap Frog, set up totally awesome, Imperm Smashers, Jin Buster, Elf, and Red. Beautiful. My opponent is playing a very cool version over here, so I got to be ready for this. We're going to summon Doop Frog, go Terraforming. I don't know Terra Element extremely well, so I want to stop everything he does before he has even an opportunity to do anything. I don't want him to have Terra Element monsters in his hand. I just want to have the most minimal Terra Element of hands and everything as possible. If I negate the Terra Element in his hand, I'll be forced to totally awesome it and send it to the graveyard, triggering its other effect. So I'd rather just have not add the Terra Element that he's missing. Uh, so I'm going to add Nimble Beaver back. I'm going to set this in the field zone. But unfortunately, Dueling Book, uh, fix your shit, Dueling Book, does not let me uh, set this to the field zone. So I'm going to have to just set this in this zone, pretending it's the field zone. Uh, next, he's going to use King of the Swamp. I'm just going to negate every card he has. I literally have six negates. Every card you activate is going to negate. Imperm that, and that's going to be GG. We're now going to go on to game number two. I'm going to be showcasing guys two matches over here. Now, there are many versions of Tier Elements. I think this version is very cool. Utilizes a lot of Therion and new Therion cards, so we're going to see exactly how it works. Here, I have Triple Hand Trap. Same idea. I don't want him to have access to any Ther uh, any uh, uh, Ther Element cards, so I'm going to stop that. I'm going to Ash that. He's going to Instant Fusion. I'm going to Veiler that. And then he's going to go Poly, getting those into Dracostelia. Using the effect of these. I don't want him to mill five, so I Gamma. What a beautiful hand. I have Ash, Veiler, Gamma, and the two best starters in my deck. That is actually the most broken hand. <laughs> Absolutely insane. Here, we're going to go into Nimble Beaver. He negates it. And then I'm like, that's fine, dog. Splite starter. <laughs> Let's go. Splite blue. Get Splite jet. 
That is going to be insane. And uh, as I mentioned, I'm going to talk about side deck theory at the end of this video. As I mentioned in my last video, uh, I do not play Spite Smashers going second because I do not want to open it, to be honest. And I just play as many hatches as possible. Well, I remove four cards for four gammas, and that's 18 hatches versus 15. Swap, send, send Ronin. Nothing much my opponent could do at this point. I'm going to add those to special more. Here, I'm going to go... Uh, before I add that, I'm like, I'm just going to Nightmare Cerberus instead of... I'm not going to use Swap Frog's effect. I'm just going to use Nightmare Cerberus. It's better for me because it is difficult for this deck to actually out a lot of this stuff. And then at this point, uh, I'm reading some of his cards. And I'm thinking, I'm like, hmm, I could keep this on the field. Uh, I could destroy it by battle. And I'm thinking of what the best result would be for this scenario. And at this point, he just scoops. Like, yeah, you got this. I'm just going to enter battle phase and win. And that's going to be game over there. And I'm going to show you guys the next match. Or sorry, th yeah, the next match over here. Uh, there's nothing you could do. Like, when you open that much, it's just auto game. So here I have, uh, he's going to go first for this one. And his, his hand's insane right here. So he's going to go poly. He's going to bring those into Millennium Mines Restrict. I say insane, but it's actually not insane. I just recognize he doesn't have no tier elements in his hand. So if he had tier elements, I was cooked. Luckily, he does not have any tier elements. So because he didn't have any tier elements, he's left with a pretty weak board here. So I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to not enter battle. I'm going to summon these out. I'm going to enter battle, attack with this. At this point, I probably should, I should have used Gigantic Spite's effect. Because if I use Gigantic Spite, he would 100% negate it. So if he negated Gigantic Spite's effect, I would lose Ash or Therion Regulus for nothing and then go into Zeus afterwards. So I'm cons that, that's a big misplay on my end. I shouldn't have done that. That's a big misplay on my end. And then here, uh, I just passed. That's also probably a mistake. He's going to the Chaos Ruler. And this is what's really cool about this deck. Look at what Chaos Ruler is going to do for him here. So Chaos Ruler is going to send him uh, Endless Engine. He's going to send him all the Terra Elements he's missing. So in this deck, Chaos Ruler is absolutely absurd. And that was... Uh, I kind of beat myself up after this. I was really upset because I could have gone off a little better. If I use a Gigantic Splite play, I literally just won the duel. So that's a misplay on my end, bro. If I just use Gigantic Splite to bait him, obviously I wanted to go Zeus. If he let it go, I was pretty cooked. But who would let a Gigantic Splite resolve? I'm sure he wasn't thinking of what I was thinking, but I should have used the effect of Gigantic Splite. It's not a cost. He's going to waste his card, and then I lost the interruption for nothing, and then I Zeus his ass. My mistake. I learned from my mistake, and he top deck like a god. There's nothing we could do there except from not being an idiot. But that was my mistake. I'm sure that if I was playing on my Splite playmat, I wouldn't have done that mistake. But unfortunately, I'm not, and I'm playing on Dueling Book, so that's my error. I deserve the loss. Here, we are going to go on to the next game. Uh, game number two, I'm going first, and I'm going to set up the most unbelievably broken hand that he will have no answer for. I want you guys to see a very cool play I'm about to do here. I'm going to go Carrot, Jet, and now this is where elements are insane. He has hand traps, essentially, where he's going to be able to activate their effect. I'm going to chain Splite Starter, so I can bring out Splite, Splite Red to negate any other effect that gets sent to the graveyard, just in case. He activates the effect of that one, I'm just going to negate it, because I don't want that one to resolve. So that's a cool thing about Red, just this elements don't play many hand traps. Aside from their own monster, so just negate any effect you can with red ASAP. Here I'm gonna set up the classic uh board of splite, but I'm gonna back it up with splite smash and summon limit. So <laughs> just like an absurdly broken board here. I literally have summon limit on top of all this. So I'm just gonna let him play. I'm like, bro. There's nothing that my man's could do here to stop us, especially with all this free summoning that we're gonna do. And at this point, I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna let him summon a bunch of cards. I probably should let him summon anything from the beginning and just protect my summon limit, like protect the house with all my cards. At that point, I just changed summon limit, and that's going to be game. So that was an amazing game over there. We're going to go to game number three here. And this really is going to be what we're going to be seeing a lot of. The element versus Splite. I open Ash, Nibiru, Starter, Carrot. Uh, he's going to search into this. He's going to go there in Coliseum. Uh, he's going to get some, some, some value here. I'm going to Ash that right away. I'm like, I don't want that shit to resolve. No shot. He's going to get uh, a few Splite cards. He's going to go into Endless Engine. And instantly, uh, he goes split, special that into that. Uh, send this. He wants to get a free plus one. Baron. I'm like, all right, that's fine. I'm going to summon Splite Starter. This is kind of like my, uh, what's the word? Splite Starter is my, and Jet is my bait. Uh, and then I'm going to just summon Carrot and Blue, and this is going to be a uh, huge value for us. We're going to get Red out here in this scenario. Special Red. Here, I'm going to go into Gigantic Splite, bring a Swap Frog, bring a Ron in. Here, Nightmare Cerberus. I need to get this out of there. It's difficult for this deck to clear boards. Splite Elf, Swap, bring up Toad. And now this is going to be very difficult for my opponent to defeat because Toad will be able to easily add stuff back. Uh, and then I'm going to special that at the draw phase. Uh, I'm going to wait for him to actually use the effect of Lily. And he's going to use Lily. I'm going to negate the effect of Lily, obviously. Uh, and he's going to set one and pass. And that's just going to be game at this point. Especially, I have Splite Red. I instantly at the end of it, I special Splite Red because I knew he had this card in his hand. 
So I special split red. So the second you activate Shaylin, I just negate it with split red. So he, I could just continue with my turn. And that's just going to be game over here. Tier elements got cooked by Splite. I'm telling you guys, without Ishizu, Splite's going to be the tier 0 deck by far. And now this is the deck list. This is the deck list. Same list I showed yesterday. Absolutely beautiful list. 3 blue, 3 jet, 3 starter, 3 prosperity, 3 nimble beaver. I still believe is better than D.Va. There could be a world out there where you actually even play like all of them. But that would only be in a higher deck if you're playing like 50. If, you're playing, if you want to play more cards in your deck, you do this. But I do not advise playing over 40 in this deck. In this deck, you want to open your splites. Splites are so broken, you just want to see them every turn. So I, I advise, like, I would not play splites unless you're able to play prosperity. This version is just so consistent, and you already have so many normal summons in Beaver and Swap. So Beaver, you have six normal summons in this a 37 card deck. You don't want to play more than that. So you just decide Beaver or Diva, and then double red, double carrot. If you really want to, you can play one of each. Like if you really want to, in this, I do also advise playing the Dupe Frog uh there were i played maybe a hundred matches with with this deck in my life and there are scenarios where having toad to special dupe actually saves the game but it is a card that uh, you can side out if you want truthfully the three cards that i do side out every single game are these three and you could side out splice smashers i typically do so when you side out these four you'll have to have four flex spots you could just add whatever you want in so adding the four cards you just add whatever you want that you feel is great in that matchup and any hand trap you think sucks in that matchup, you could remove for whatever else you feel is good in that matchup. Uh, this makes it so you have 21 cards that are offensive and 19 that are literally hand traps. Uh, I don't think you'll ever need to play 19 of 40 cards hand traps. Like, you will not need more than that. That's the beauty of this deck, which allows you to play stuff like Summon Limit and D-Barrier. Uh, another idea that you could play in this deck is just a, a, an idea. It's e -Telly. But the thing with e is, like, yes, it, it's very offensive and it really helps you. And can even special ghost ogre as like a second defensive option which is why it's nice uh i would advise doing something like this playing three e -Telly, okay and on top of the three e -Telly, just playing one level two psychic just one it could be a fucking kree bonds for crying out loud it doesn't matter just playing one and by doing this the idea behind this is now that you have three extenders to special the kree bonds if you absolutely have to but if you already utilize the kree bonds you just summon out Ghost Ogre. Summoning out the Ghost Ogre now makes it so you just another card to make with Splite Elf. Because Splite Elf just says two monsters, including one level two. So it's just a free card to make Splite Elf with. Uh, so it's not the worst. In playing e -Telly, I'd also play a Needle Fiber Engine. And I would play Diva over the Nimble Beaver. In this scenario. In this scenario. Because now you're able to utilize Deep Sea Diva and e as is like your six ways into a tuner. And then I'll try and find some way to make it for Needle Fiber to help out your deck a lot. And this makes it so, yeah, like, even Kree Bonds is not a brick. You can always normal summon it, and you're still playing 15 hand traps. But I would advise main decking the Smashers. Smashers is a really powerful card. Perhaps you could play, like, two Ghost Ogres because e -Telly equals a Ghost Ogre. You're not going to want to have too many. So in order to make this deck look sexy, we're going to have to remove some cards now. So we're going to, I'm telling you guys... Organizing your deck in weird ways, how I'm doing right now, makes it so you can view your deck uh, better. Post side deck, when you're siding, you'll know exactly what you want to remove at what times. So doing something like this, you could just see exactly what you have very easily accessible to you. So you'll be like, you know, I have these 12 hand traps, etc. And it's very easy for you to just like maneuver what you want to side out. So this is an idea that you could roll with as well. Uh, but this would have to capitalize on needle fiber in some way, shape or form uh needle fiber might also be banned i don't think it will but it's a possibility it also gives you the opportunity to obviously bounce back hand traps so that's a video hope you guys enjoy it all i gotta say is splite best deck after pendulum i hope you guys enjoy the video i had an absolute blast making it this deck's absolutely insane before we end up the video don't forget to get your beautiful splite play mats you guys have until i go to sleep tonight the first 100 are getting sent out but i have to make a new order for the other 30 so you guys have that last chance before i put in that order to get this otherwise you're gonna have to wait for another month and went until Splite actually gets released. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash the subscribe button. Smash the like button. I love you guys. It's going to be a tier 0 format. we got to prepare ourselves for it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.